East African breweries has shaken off the ravages of slower economic growth in a tough operating environment which featured higher taxes post a 40% increase in its full year after tax profits for the full year and in June 2015. Sales during the year grew to 66.8 billion shillings, lifting profitability to 9.6 billion shillings. EABL's Group Managing Director Charles Ireland sat down with Katie's Adelaide Changole to look at how business has fared. EBL has just posted its full year earnings for the full year ending June 2015 and it has grown its profit after tax by 40% to 9.5 billion shillings. And we are joined by Charles Ireland, the MD of EABL, to give us a, a, a look at how the company actually achieved this and what its future plans are. Thank you so much for joining us, Mr. Ireland. Tell us about the numbers. How have you performed this year? Uh, we'd characterize the performance as being solid. 6% uh, uh, revenue growth, um, uh, forty percent growth uh, profit after tax level. Has EABL's business performed in Kenya this year? Kenya is obviously really, really important for us, and I was delighted with the the development of um, of our portfolio in Kenya, uh, particularly uh, premium beer um, uh, grew very strongly by a number of over fifteen percent. Our RTDs grew very strongly. We have. A, a new product in the market which uh, consumers are uh, um, responding very positively to called Smirnoff Ice and Garana and, and that's working very well for us. Um, Tusker and our other mainstream beers uh, didn't perform as well and um, F16, our f financial year going forward, has got to be a year where we get Tusker really working. What has the impact been of the depreciation of the Kenya shilling and that of the Tanzanian and the Ugandan shillings? Kenyan shilling depreciated very kind of markedly in the last quarter of our finan financial year between um, April and June. Started in February. Uh, and, and that does affect um, our business because um, we do still buy about 25% of our um, our uh, raw and packaging materials and and uh, and our capital investments from overseas. So, um, so it does affect us because obviously our trading is in Kenyan and Kenyan shillings and other local currencies. But then we've got to convert into U.S. dollars or euros or pounds when we're when we're buying a you know a new machine from Germany or you know um, packaging materials from overseas. Uh, so it does have an effect on our business. We try and mitigate that effect, try and mitigate that effect by sourcing wherever possibly locally. How is the Senator Keg Beer performing following the removal of the excise tax that was levied in 2014? Senator volumes uh, fell dramatically when the excise tax went onto, onto the product. Uh, now that excise tax has been reduced, we're seeing volumes recovering. Let's talk about the excise tax um, regime that the government is proposing. What do you think of, of, of this new measure? I, I think illicit brews are a scourge on Kenyans, and uh, I'm delighted that the government is acting. I thought that the presidential decree was very kind of timely, and, uh, and the response in general has been very positive, and the crap, clap down is is a good one. Um, I think some elements of it were, was unhelpful and you know, some of our brands and our operations were collateral damage for a while but over the medium term it'll be good for Kenya and as a producer of quality products who pays all of its taxes uh, I would hope that EABL will, will see a benefit. Tanzania's uh, Fair Competition Commission has raised some issues about um, EABL and your business in Serengeti, saying you're not serious about Tanzania. Can you just tell us what is going on with this, with this, with this business? Business performance has been, been lower than we expected it to be, and we told them that it would be, or we told them that we expected performance to be better. Uh, I think it's a misunderstanding. We've made significant investments in that business over the last four years. We've brought it up to international standard and 
uh, the last year has uh, been one of improving performance and we expect that to continue. So what is in store for customers, shareholders and investors who are looking at TABL in the coming year? From a shareholder perspective, I'd expect that we would continue to grow our revenue and our profitability. 40% profit after tax growth is quite extraordinary and I'm not sure that we'll be able to match that again next year, but hopefully it'll be double digits. Uh, from a consumer perspective, I'd expect them to be able to find great quality beers, great quality spirits from EABL across East Africa throughout the year. And I'd invite them to watch out for the new brands, the line extensions and the new work that we're going to be doing on our brands across the full financial year. Thank you so much for your time. We were just speaking to Charles Island, who was telling us a little bit about EABL and their performance in the full year ending June 5, 2015. And they have posted impressive results, and they are saying more is to come going forward. My name is Adelaide Changole. Thank you so much for joining us, and it's back to studio.